was your big chance. Now is your chance to actually add your own data into our database. And we are doing so using the standard, almost spreadsheet-like view of each of our tables. Remember, we're working with the album table, and the album table is connected to the artist table using this relationship construction inside the database, which means that this al artist ID corresponds with an artist ID in the artist table. So in order for you to add your favorite albums to the database, we've got to think about how this would work. If I jump over here and just want to jump in and put in one of my favorite albums, like the Vice Quadrant, which I would give a 5-2 and was published in 2008, and it was written by the Steam Power Giraffes, but they're... oh... Error inserting new record. Integrity constraint violation. No parent sys foreign key 69 table colon artist in statement. And then we get the database language. SQL or sometimes said SQL. This is what the, um, this is what LibreOffice base was communicating to the database. It was saying, hey, please insert into the album table the artist ID name, rating, release year, values, blah, 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 blah. Well, the problem is, in this case, there is no artist number four. It, when it tried to save this record in the database, it says, okay, I know, I've been told that artist ID in the album field, or in the album table, must line up, it must have a corresponding value in the artist table, in fact, in the artist ID column of the artist table. So, I put the four in, it looks down in the artist's collection and looks down its ID column, one, two, three, I don't have a four, er, can't write that into the system. Now, could I misappropriately assign the artist three to the vice quadrant? Well, I could. That will, con that will satisfy the database. It doesn't know anything about albums, so it can't tell us er, the vice quadrant was not written and performed by Aretha Franklin. It was, in fact, written by this team-powered giraffe who doesn't exist in the artist table. So, the order is important here. So when you find the correct uh, table, or when you find an album you want to enter, so let's uh, go ahead and enter four, and then steam-powered, and it is happy. So notice that when I hit enter here, it went from, so if I change this, if I come here and, and lowercase s, notice that it has seen a change in record. And if, uh, every, if I try to navigate away from this row, if I try to click somewhere else, it will interpret that as a request to put this data into the database. So for example, if I try to duplicate the artist ID and click anywhere else, it will flag an error because it's not going to let bad data into the system. It won't even let you leave the space in which the, the record is incorrect. And it will tell you why. So I've got to fix it or I have to delete the row. So I've got to make sure the artist ID is unique. So every time I make a change, and when it saves that change, those rules, the constraints of the system, will be there. So now that I have an artist in my artist table. Now I can adjust my data in the album table and appropriately assign the vice quadrant to the Steam Power Giraffe. Check them out. So for this particular exercise, go ahead and add a handful of information into your database. Try a few artists, try a few albums, and don't forget to proof your work. 2008, that millennium will get you every time. Okay, have fun. Catch you in the next segment. Thank you.